Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I got I got Jolene with me. Say hi Jolene. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so um are you excited, Jolene? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> that was a close one. Our 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 interesting little friend that we've created whose favorite food is Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah. Who who wouldn't want their favorite food to be a sauce? That's like motherfuckers who like ketchup. I'm looking at you, Heisen. <laughs> Heisen doesn't like ketchup? No, he loves ketchup. Oh, I thought... <laughs> like, like, uh, <laughs> like a little too much, or like... This is a true story, by the way. I'm okay. Cameron attested to it, that when Cameron lived with him, in the refrigerator uh-huh. was a huge-ass bottle of ketchup. And not only that, but his section of the kitchen, like his own little like pantry cabinet thing, had other big bottles of ketchup. So when he ran out of it, he can re-put it back in the fridge. This man consumes so much ketchup. (laughs) Yeah, I'm calling him out right now. Fuck you, Heisen. (laughs) (laughs) He's never gonna see this. Someone's gonna have to clip this for him. Or be like, hey, I need you to go to the, the timestamp in Phoenix's uh, Sanji part two episode and go to this timestamp. And yeah, you get made fun of for a minute. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Hey, I have. What? You're like Heisen's biggest hater number two? Me? Yeah, right? I, I didn't know this. Are you I, not? I've been, I, I, I wasn't, but. I mean, if you want me to, like that, <laughs> I thought I, I could try. I thought you and Sage was his biggest hater. I know Sage. I is. Really, Sage is number one biggest hater. I, I don't really interact with the guy enough. I don't know. <laughs> Every time I say I something, you're like, I gotta fight him. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. Says he doesn't like Usopp. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. Kind of, that's a crime. That's a crime in and of itself. Yeah. <laughs> It's the only the reason why you arises. hate him is because he doesn't <laughs> yeah. like Us. Yeah, like, that is a perfectly valid reason. Yeah. You know what, yeah. I'm gonna use that as a rule of thumb. Like, if someone doesn't like Vox, I should be like, mm, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Vox is, that's a different, that's a different story. What do you mean it's a different, mean it's a different story? That's, that's a different story. That is Vox. What? Uh, wait a minute. So yeah. you're okay with me sending you four edits of a yes. six-year-old man, but when it yes, comes to that is a human man. Oh that is my a human God. man and I not mean, some weird television guy. I mean, Vox was human at some point, right? He's a sinner. At some point. Like, look, we gotta start reading. Okay, fine. <laughs> now you're lucky I don't like. I didn't send you like fucking Bill Cipher edits. <laughs> I just get those really eldritch being ones, and it's, oh it's God, honestly really good. No, no. Yeah, because I love the spooky. I okay. The spooky thing. Of course. Oh, but I'm weird for like you, know, TV man. Yeah. <laughs> You're like eldritch monsters. It's, it's not in romantic. And like, oh like I like I like seeing it. I like seeing creepy things. I'm not attracted to it. Oh my god. But I just think it's interesting. Wow, now I'm being crucified for my attraction. Wow. 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 I am Marvel Jesus right now. (laughs) And I will not let my name be smeared. (laughs) I'll I'll nail you on a cross. I will get the nails, (laughs) stab it through your hand, (laughs) stab it through your leg. I'm gonna be the Hasbun Hotel Jesus. And I and I oh, shall God. rise. I'm should I should I I'm gonna be God and the Vox Sandy is Jesus. <laughs> you know what? You do you. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, Queen. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're on chapter five. Perfect. <laughs> There's a little the coin for Daisy. Please. Yeah, I got two coins with me. Okay. Do you want to be? Oh wait, is uh, this the same coin? Oh wait, no, they're different. So, Ooh, what state? Are they quartered? This one says Alabama, and uh-huh, this uh-huh. one says nothing. <laughs> oh, it's one of the plain ones. No, it's not plain. It says like voto parada mujer. Oh, it's Latin. Oh, okay. 
Um, I want tails. All right. It's tails. Hopefully Perfect. that picked up on the mic. Cause you just hear me throw the the fucking quarter across my desk. I feel like the tiny. I heard the tiniest thing, but yeah, I guess Discord sensitivity is kind of high, so it doesn't let like high pitch sounds. That way, you can't just have someone scream in your ear, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Damn you, Discord. <laughs> uh. The sun shined nicely on your skin as you took a deep breath. You took a step forward outside your shop, stretching at the nice day ahead of you. It had been a slow day, and yet you felt tired with the need to go for a walk to enjoy the day. You smiled to yourself, deciding on closing to get coffee, which seemed to be a good idea as an excuse to enjoy the day ahead of you. You placed the close, the close sign on your door, not even bothering to actually closing the door and stepping out. Good morning, you said, passing next to your shop neighbor, which told Brad. The men in charge Brad. waved and you doing Brad, 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 Brad. Brad. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, we're just bank. Like, our neighbor is Senshi. <gasps> Senshi. I said sushi. I'm oh silly. <laughs> His name is Sushi. <laughs> I can't read. Oh, Brad. <laughs> Look, actually, funny we story. I was, looking, I was talking to Elf, and instead of typing Senshi, he typed uh, Sanji. <laughs> So now I I only pictured. Have you gotten to the part where you meet Isuzumi in Dungeon Meshi? I'm gonna be honest with you. The last episode that we watched was in the server. I need to actually set up another watch party. I'm gonna be completely honest. Wow. I'm wow. Sorry. I'm sorry. I've been I've been binging Gravity Falls. I have old men yaoi on my mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are you shipping board with? <laughs> Bill Cipher. It's, you know what? Anyway, <laughs> you know his name, and at least the name of every shop owner and frequent customer in the area. It was the thing you found yourself doing, as there weren't many things to do around here. Hey Cameron, what could I get for you? <laughs> Camille, the waitress at the coffee shop, asked. You knew her well, as you made arrangements for her for, for her wedding a year before, so you'd often get pampered in her cafeteria. The usual, please, he said, which she nodded and walked away. And you were left alone wondering what to do that you've given, now that you've given yourself a free day. You weren't very sure about what to do. The movie sounded nice, but you didn't feel like going alone again. Eating out also didn't seem like a nice idea, especially as you saw a couple sitting across from you. You wanted that. You wanted to find someone one day to do the things you wanted to without feeling alone. That couple across seemed nice. Or that was until you realized who the couple was. Wait. Wait. You went pale seeing the girl Sanji had been on a date with the other day with another man. You knew you knew they were together by the kiss they shared in the front of you, which made you extremely angry. Oh my god, whore. <laughs> Whoa. <yeah. laughs> what? She, she cheated I know she's cheating. I know, I know she's cheated. But I didn't expect you to insult her so quickly. Bro, I would throw her in front of a million trains. <laughs> You knew Sanji liked her. He truly did, and you barely knew him enough to believe this, but you believed he was a good person who deserved better than this. Camille left your drink on the table, leaving it when she saw you angrily staring at the couple. When they shared another kiss, you stood up and walked towards them. <gasps> there was nothing you hated more than cheaters, especially knowing how so, how much Sanji liked the girl. Oh my god, slap, bitch slapper, please. In my <gasps> honor. Oh my god. <laughs> in your honor. Throw, her, throw your coffee at her. <laughs> It'd be like that, uh, like the woman that ordered the McDonald's coffee and then got burns from it. You just, you just threw the coffee at her. I'm not sure that's how that happened, but wait, you don't I remember that what story? Did. No, I, I know that story, but. I don't think the coffee didn't get thrown at her. No, it's like she it spilled on her and then she suffered burns, I think. But yeah, I, I just so want it to be as hot as that. <laughs> gotcha, I understand. You want that woman to touch I, I need that makeup to run on her face. <laughs> Excuse me, you called her up. She looked up to you with a bitchy face that turned somehow concerned when she recognized you. And she, and she looked at her partner with worried eyes. I find it unfair the way you go around your life, you said, trying not to be rude but remarking the obvious. 
you can't play like that with people, especially when they've done nothing but good things to you. Who's she? The man asked, offended. Do you know her, honey? She panicked, <clears throat> shaking her head. She looked at the man angry and couldn't believe she'd chosen him over sweet Sanji. Over the sweet Sanji you knew. Can you leave us alone, lady? I will. I'm sorry I interrupted your whatever, you said, turning your heel, not before looking at the girl with a killer face. You felt so angry that you left your, the coffee shop not even drinking your coffee. No, our mocha lavender coffee! <laughs> I like that you say mocha. Is it not mocha? <laughs> matcha? Mocha, it's a, it, oh, you're... Okay, it's yeah, a, it's, it's a green one. <laughs> yeah, matcha. When you say mocha, I'm thinking you're trying to say mocha. Oh, I keep thinking I'm trying to say mochi. <laughs> but just fucking... <laughs> instead of saying I, I put A. <laughs> it felt like it had hurt you. Because when you'd seen them the first time, she seemed nice and... Sanji was nice, so there wasn't a clear reason to see why it would end up being the way it was right now. That's why it was so hard having a relationship. Perhaps that's why you preferred being alone. Afraid that something like that would ha ever happen to you if you decided to trust yourself with someone else. Damn. Real. Damn, she got <laughs> too close. <laughs> but yeah, like, man, you should get a... <laughs> After your lonely step found, on found their way back to your shop. Despite not really being in the mood to do so, you took your cart to sell something that day. At least you could distract yourself a little if you worked, which always seemed to work, yet this time, the more you walked, the worse you felt. It wasn't even your problem, and yet it hit hard knowing you had put them together in the first place. Then, Smoke had caught your attention with the corner of your eye. Despite being a little far, you saw him. On the same bench, you had met him with a face that told you he wasn't feeling quite well. You wanted to let him be and not get involved with him, as to not hurt him in any way, but you couldn't leave him because of the guilt building up inside you. It looks like you could use some company, you said standing in front of Sanji, who looked up to see a white daisy on your hand. He smiled weakly, seeing you, which made him happy, but he wasn't feeling quite well. Please take it. It looks like you could use it. Hope, he said, guessing the meaning of the flower, which made you smile. He took it as you sat down next to him. You should stop giving me flowers, he said, taking a drag. I should be the one giving them. A sad tone uh, made his way into that sentence. Jolie broke up with me, he said, stated with honesty, which made your heart ache. You did my day way better, uh, Cameron. Uh, my brain again <laughs> froze, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's my job to cheer people up, he said, looking down at your feet. You felt so bad seeing him sad, and you wanted to tell him everything, but it wasn't your place, and you did your best to do so with, uh, do without being intrusive. Next time, I'll get you flowers, I promise, he said, making you smile and shake your head, which made him realize that you sold them. I sell flowers, he pointed out. Uh, pointed out by now the obvious thing. So you took a look at a, your flower cart, not far from where you both were. If you want, you could. If you want to help, you could always buy some for someone else. I'm always open for someone who needs them. You said, making Sanji blush a little at how cute you were. Yes. You were trying to help him. <laughs> huh? I was like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to help him out, and this had really helped him a lot. Thank you, Cameron. He said, putting his cigarette off. Or standing up. He was about to offer you his hand when you stood up. I have to get back to work now. You could come in for something if you want. My treat, he said, trying to make up for the nice moment he had spent with he had spent with you. I'm okay, but thank you, he said, pointing at your cart who was patiently waiting for you. I have to go back to work too. If you need anything, let me know, he said nicely. Both of you waved at each other away, despite not feeling great. You at least felt better that he was somewhat out better. This is my baby boy. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sanji. <laughs> now is it more than Vox? Don't push it. <laughs> I mean, you should love him more than Vox, but... W why? He's Sanji. <laughs> oh, that is a good point. It's it's like two opposites of the same coin, you know? Like, do I want to be treated badly? Or do I want to be treated with love and compassion, you know? I'm not sure that it's the same 
coin, but um, what? Yeah, I don't you know. have to explain myself to you. <laughs> okay, damn. I have my reasons. <laughs> It's like when people are attracted to like bad boys, you know, and and like they like that like the the fucking attitude and like the no care, you know, and then some women want the opposite of that. I can have both. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> chapter six. <laughs> okay. Go over here trying to defend myself, and you ain't even seen it. <laughs> My verdict of guilty was already hammered down. For, for, on the account of simping to the fourth degree. <laughs> 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 Alright, chapter six. Sanji looked at the box he had made for takeout. He hated takeout more than anything because he knew people rarely ate what they took home. But there wasn't really any other way of doing what he wanted to do but to put it out in the takeout box. He had been thinking about doing something nice for you for the last couple days. He was feeling bummed about... It was feeling bummed out with the recent incident. Incidents, plural. But you had a way of making him feel better just by your nice gift and company that day. And he wanted to thank you somehow. So he decided since he couldn't send you flowers, he was going to make something for you to eat. Fuck yeah, I want to eat food. I'm hungry. I did just have tacos. <laughs> nice. Where are you going? Zeph asked Sanji as he exited the kitchen through the back. Dribbling fuck. <laughs> Delivering something. I'll be back, shitty geezer. Sanji said, waving on Zeph. He felt quite relaxed wanting to enjoy his walk to your shop as well. And seeing it was still early, he took his time by lighting another cigarette to enjoy on his way there. He was surprised how little time it took for him to reach the store, now that he knew where it was. Seeing how pretty the flowers outside were made him making him learn to smell which smell them which wait <laughs> this fucking sentence hold on this is giving me a stroke hold on seeing how pretty the flowers outside were making him learn to smell them which seemed to be the right thing to do as he hummed by wait <laughs> as he hummed the nice smell they had okay I think my- I'm sorry. <laughs> I think my brain was deteriorating. I don't know what, what the fuck was up with me on that one. <laughs> because you like Fox. That is not- shut up. I mean, that's true, but that's not the reason why I can't read. <laughs> Watch me, like- Arguable. What were you saying? <laughs> Arguable. <laughs> I was- <laughs> You know, what if I have like a head injury one day and they're like, "Oh wait, we got to we got to take this this person to go get a, like a like a CT scan of their brain. Got to check for injuries and like my like left side, my 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 left side of the brain's just gone." <laughs> that would explain a lot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he saw someone in the store inside and walked in expecting to see you, but instead, he found a younger girl sweeping the floor because of the many petals that were there. Hello, can I help you? She asked, looking up and down to Sanji, who held the takeout box in his hands. I'm sorry, I didn't order anything. Maybe the shop next door did? Oh, no, my bad, he said, looking around. I'm looking for Cameron. I brought her this, he said, seeing she was nowhere to be seen. Is she here? No, it's Wednesday, the younger girl said, as if it was obvious that she wasn't here. Sanji raised an eyebrow, not understanding what she meant by that. She's never here on Wednesdays. You can leave it here, though. She'll arrive later. <laughs> That'll be nice, he said, handing her the takeout box. Tell her I said hi. The girl nodded, and Sanji left the store feeling a little uncomfortable. He wished that you were there, because when he entered the store the first time, he felt so eased out of- Oh, so eased out by your presence, and now he felt like there was something missing there. Defeated. He made his way back to the the Barty. Is that how we pronounce it? Baratier. Baratier. Is how I've always pronounced. Well, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling a little bad that he didn't get to see you or thank you in person. He thought about going back and to wait for you, but he didn't feel he didn't feel like the right choice to do. So he lit another cigarette, taking a long drive before continuing his route. Yet a laugh caught his attention. A familiar yet dis. 
Familiar yet distant, he looked around and saw you walking with an old lady, both of you laughing. He could have sworn he, sk he, he skipped a beat as a smile grew on his face. Yeah, he better be swooning for her ass right now. <laughs> he better get in line. Cameron! He swooned towards you, which caught you by surprise, seeing the blonde chef on a nice day. He looked just like he always did, except happier somehow, which made you quite happy that he was doing better. Hi, Sanji. How are you? You asked him, who, s you asked him, who swooned around despite never seeing Sanji like that. You really didn't mind. I was looking for you, he said, stopping himself to introduce himself to the old lady next to you. As a gentleman would. <laughs> Sanji, it's a pleasure to meet you, he said, taking the old lady's hand and giving it a kiss. Such a charmer you you have there, Cameron, the old lady said, blushing herself. I'm Rose, it's a pleasure, she said, fixing her scarf. Despite not despite not being actually cold, her old self would shiver with the slightest little winds. Oh my god, she's built like me. She's- I'm oh this God. old woman! <laughs> I'm in the story, Joel. <laughs> no, it's, it's like that anime, like, I've been reincarnated into a slime, except I've been reincarnated into this old woman. <laughs> I love that for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I'll be here all night. <laughs> you said you were looking for me? You asked. Going back to that topic, as you were curious if you needed something. Did you need something? I'm not working today, but I can tell you, tell you, you can ask, uh, Camille? Yeah, Camille for them. <laughs> oh, no, no, he asked, fixing himself up. I was going to get you something to eat from my restaurant, so we could- Wait, fuck. <laughs> so we could be even for everything you've helped me with. He laughed a little awkward. Although it would take me forever to repay you. He frowned and hit his head slightly with the power. Wait, we fucking smacked him? Or <laughs> I think it meant like he, he tilted his head, maybe? Oh, uh, I thought... Uh, it does I, say hit, though. Yeah, I think... Oh, meant... or hid. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought we just smacked the shit out of him. That would be really funny. <laughs> terrible, though. Just bonked him. <laughs> I told you I don't need anything, he said, making the old woman chuckle at the sight of in, in front of her. I'm for real, Sanji. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm for real, for real. No cap. <laughs> okay, okay, he said, sigh, sighing, knowing that he would still do it no matter what, because he felt like he, you couldn't refuse a gift that was already in your shop. I'll be on my way then. You can walk with us, the old woman said, making you look at her, wondering if she was really as okay with it. Which she assured you, she nodded. We like company. How could I refuse a beautiful lady's request, he said, making you chuckle a little as he offered his arm to Rose. It was a sigh you'd never seen, and you really liked it. Where would you like to go? Home, it's starting to get late for me. Rose said as she began to walk with Sanji, while you followed them walking next to Rose. You smell like food, young man! <laughs> what kind of food? <laughs> Just the, the sense of food. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Sanji smells like vanilla. Like vanilla abstract. I was just gonna assume he smells like, like... Beef? I don't know, something savory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You, th you were thinking savory, I was like, yeah, he smells like beef. <laughs> 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 uh. He's a sous chef at the restaurant he works at, Rose, you said. He works at the- the- oh, Fuck. Bratier. The Bratier. You, I was like, you literally just told me how to say it, I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> the Bratier. That pretty restaurant two streets north? Sunday liked how you talked about him. He really did. I'll take you there to eat next week. The food there is absolutely delicious. Oh my, it's a date! She laughed. Young man, you must be so talented. I'm pretty old myself, but I can't manage to hold a knife properly. I think I would love your cooking, he said, trying to give a nice compliment. He looked at you and you shook your head, letting him know her food was really bad. 
<laughs> it's like it's like Luffy cooking. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, you're you're always welcome here. I'll make sure you be treated like a queen. Then I shall go there regularly. She joked. She joked, stopping and looking up to Sanji. This is my stop, young man. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure was mine, he said, letting go of her arm like a true gentleman. You smiled, seeing the tender scene as Rose waved at, y waved at you, opening the door to her home and entering. Your grandma's pretty joyful, he commented, making you laugh. What? She's not my grandma. She's a friend, he said, which made Sanji a little confused, but he wasn't one to comment on it. I met her on at the park not far, and she needed some company. She was quite funny, so I hanged out with her on the... On, with her these days, you said as you both began walking away. Her family is never here, so. You're a very nice person, Cameron, Sanji said, making you blush a little at the comment. Ooh, we're getting, we're getting a romance. We'll flirt and flirt. <laughs> <laughs> One little thing happens in a, in a fan fiction, and we have to stop everything for me to comment. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't believe how much you were willing to to do to help someone you barely knew, like him, and now Rose seemed quite happy being around you. Thank you. I'd try to be one, you said, stopping. I have to go over there to my shop, but I'll see you around, you said, as he had to go back to the opposite way to get to the Barati. Is that idea right? <laughs> Bratier. Bratier. God damn it. <laughs> it was nice seeing you again. I could say the same, he said. I left something there for you. Hope you like it. I probably will. He omitted waving. I'll see you later, Sanji. As you parted ways, you couldn't help but feel happier. As if someone had made your day just brighter that day, and Sanji felt the same way. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love Sanji. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's <laughs> the way you said it is like when I'm in the server, I'm like, guys, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love Vox. And everyone's like, oh, we know. <laughs> ah, here we go again. <laughs> it's like, we know. We, 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 this isn't new information. And I'm like, I'm, you guys are being mean to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chapter 7. You couldn't get it out. Uh, you couldn't get it out of your mind. No what matter how much you try. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> it's too fun. <laughs> it would just show up again and again, and everything you did seemed to remind you of it. It was sweet, but it had bite to it, and it was also so tender that you couldn't help but wonder why it was even there for you. You felt like it was made just for you, and you couldn't. You just couldn't get a hold of yourself. You had to have more of it. Are you thinking about the food again? Kumail asked you, making you sigh and defeat. Yuri and Sanji, what did he make that is that is it's tender and sweet and spicy? Uh, s'mores ramen. <laughs> <gasps> Every day. <laughs> I I just wish. I wish I could help you. <laughs> you and everyone <laughs> else. <laughs> I'm gonna come home one day, and, and like, Sage is gonna be there, Elf, yeah, Luke, <laughs> everyone's flown in, and you're, like, the leader, and you're like, Phoenix, this is, uh, this is, like, intervention. A intervention. <laughs> uh, we have, like, a piñata of you that we all have to get our anger <laughs> on. I'm sitting in the corner, like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> It's like, this is for mentioning box one too many times. Yeah, and you're like, this oh. is for looking s'mores ramen. <laughs> you had eaten some of food he'd made you, and it was so good that you felt like everything you ate since then wasn't enough. It was just not up to what Sanji had left for you. I so want to eat there again, he said, finishing the floral raging arrangement by cutting some leaves off to give it a better look. But the wedding thing but with the wedding thing, I'm too busy, but it was so good I wish I could eat there every day. Sanji's such a good cook, he said looking at the arrangement. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> Do we have a crush? She said, hitting with her elbow and raising an eyebrow. It took you a second to realize that she was what she was talking about, making your face turn as red as a tomato. 
I don't. Bungie's just someone I know, he said, shaking your head, trying to ease your mind. You knew him and thought he was a very nice person. And he wasn't good- and he wasn't good looking- wait, what? A liar! <laughs> <laughs> it's that he wasn't good looking. <laughs> it wasn't- he wasn't good looking. You looked his eyes and the way he smiled and- No, <laughs> you said shaking your head. Trying to remove that idea from your head. What's the matter, Cameron? He said, as he took your work to put it with the others. You clearly- you clearly deserve to go out with someone. So when you were always working with. Didn't you just tell me the other day how nice it would be to have someone to dine with? I mean, yeah, but... How'd you just got his heart broken? I couldn't do that, he said, holding your chest at the memory of the girl hurting Sanji. He deserves to be happy, and I have work, and ugh, just ask him, she said, sweeping the floor from petals and leaves. If you don't want that guy, I know a guy. He's good looking, just give it a chance. I don't think I'm ready, he said. You really wanted something special. You've always wanted you've always wanted to, but the horrible experiences you had suffered before everything you've seen happen to others made you start doubting everyone. I'm not giving them the chance to even get to know you, but I'll think about it. Where are you going? Camille asked as you walked to the exit, grabbing your coat to protect you from the wind of the night. Can I go home now? Do you still need my help? Yeah. Yes, just go home. I need to take a walk, you said, adjusting your coat. I'll finish them when I come back. I'll see you tomorrow, you said, stepping outside to the cold night. Every step you took made you feel more stressed than said, Who's messaging you? <laughs> Cameron called me, <laughs> and it scared me. It didn't even, like, it just, like, it just, like, went off once. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're good. <laughs> oh, God, the, the cat's calling me. I'm scared. Every step you took made you feel more stressed instead of easing you up. As the thought of Sanji was now buried in your mind. He was cute. He was definitely a gentleman who had the prettiest smile you'd ever seen. Hell yeah, you did. Your... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, we can't even talk about that man! I'm sorry. <laughs> Feeling your cheeks heat up. You hit them several times trying to calm down. You liked him a little, and the more you thought about him, the more you wanted to know him, but you weren't sure if he, if he would like you or if it was even a good idea. You looked up at the cold night sky. It was cloudy, like your mind. <laughs> Trying to figure out your feelings out of nowhere felt so overwhelming that you didn't know what to do. To the point of accidentally bumping into a couple. You, apo you apologized as they walked by and your heart ached. What they had as af- uh, Ached what they had as after you bumping into them. The male made sure the woman was okay and planted a kiss on her cheek. You placed your hand on your cheek, wondering how it would feel like if your face is right over again. Cameron, roll your soul, you said, taking deep breaths. But as you did, you realized you were way too close to an area you really didn't want to be around. Oh no, 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 you said, looking around. You could see the Baratier right in front of you. And inside near the window, none other than Sanji, who was sitting at the table next to the window. You stepped back as to not call his attention, but you couldn't go away. You looked so concentrated with a gentle smile. With the gentle smile you liked while he was working, doing something he enjoyed. You wonder how some people you had never seen him smile before. If you had, yeah, if you had never seen him smile before, if you'd always been there. Why didn't he enter your store that day? He seemed to be everywhere you looked at. Which didn't bother you, but it made you think about the unusual coincidence. I can't. Sanji was cleaning the table when he felt someone staring. It wouldn't usually bother him, but he felt the need to look up. In the dark street outside, he saw no one, but he could have sworn something was there. So he continued with the table, unaware of you who had just walked away, just in time. You had started taking your phone out and dialing Camille, hoping she would answer, as she almost never did when she left work. Hey, who's this? Camille answered. I already paid my bank, so please don't call me. Camille, it's me. 
Please save my contact already, he said. I she always forgot or was too lazy to, to do so despite working with you for over a year. I... He sent me the number of the... He swallowed nervously. He swallowed being extremely nervous. You had to find someone yourself and leave Sonic to be. After, after all, you felt responsible for his late relationship, both for setting him by accident and catching her with someone else. The number for the guy you told me about. No way. Camille sounded impressed. Yeah, dude. I mean, boss. I'll send it to you. She sounded excited herself. He's so hot. I swear you won't regret it. Yeah, I hope so. He said, looking back at the broad TA. It was far away already. You're too good. You're too good for me. You said. You said, sighing to yourself. Camille hung up as you received a text from an unfamiliar number. Hey, is this Cameron? Camille gave me this number. What's up? It took all your strength to answer back and feeling bad already, but you had to try. Hey. I feel this comment right here that says, No, I want Sanji. <laughs> I want Sanji, not random hot guy. <laughs> you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. <laughs> Sanji is the guy you told me not to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. Okay, good. I didn't want any misconception. <laughs> I don't need. I don't need anyone falsifying documents around here. I can have two faith fucking documents. <laughs> I need. I I know what I said. I don't need people putting words in my mouth. <laughs> That's. I don't know what else to say of that without it sounding sexual. All right, <laughs> chapter eight. What? All right. <laughs> The busy night was going smoothly, even with little to no empty tables. Which meant it was a good night, especially for a Saturday. The kitchen was running smoothly, even without Sanji, who was sadly outside as a waiter once again because Zeph had, had made him do so for being late that evening. Sanji was pissed off because he re it really wasn't his fault. He just got distracted passing a group of ladies and forgot. How could he not stop and adore some pretty girls? He had to. <laughs> despite everything, he was ac despite everything, he was actually having a nice time, having some small talks with the some customers and always delivering the delicious food to their tables. Always receiving a compliment back. As he thought the night couldn't get nicer, he saw you come in. You looked gorgeous, having some makeup on and dressing to impress everyone to impress everyone who looked at you. Sanji had was has been thinking about you. Oh yeah, he be, he was. <laughs> Ooh, fuck yeah. The fact was that he would walk by your shop by accident without realizing it. But seeing you busy, he preferred not to intervene, planning to deliver a meal soon. And yet you happen to go there. He was going to approach you to court you when a good-looking man walked next to you, offering you. His hand, which you hesitantly took. Sanji felt an ache in his chest, but he really couldn't say anything and wasn't sure what to even do. He's jealous. He's fucking jealous. Yeah, he better be jealous. <laughs> I want to get you a man that fights for you like Sanji does <laughs> at some point. <laughs> this is a nice place, um, the man said, opening the chair for you. What, opening? I, I think pulling out the chair. He opens it like like a <laughs> like a cabinet. It's actually one of those like it's actually one of those folding chairs. <laughs> the brat take is a uh, is a little they cut budget. Low budget. <laughs> <laughs> they can't afford they on food quality. <laughs> <laughs> they can't afford proper chairs anymore. They gotta get the folding chairs that you get they for got, like, like they got some really beautiful fancy uh um, uh, tables with, I don't know, silk or linen tablecloths, and they got folding chairs. <laughs> yeah. That's for all, like, the, like, the middle class people. <laughs> They're, like, just, just <laughs> barely enough. <laughs> oh, fuck, what is it? Oh, the man oh, yeah, he opened the chair for us, I forgot. Which you liked. He cursed that he had made reservations here, but still wanted to try anything from here so badly. I've been here before with another girl. She was very pretty because a little more than you. She seemed to care more about her looks. 
he said, making you wish you weren't wow. there for the fourth time since you had met him. Wow, I can't wow. believe Ray being compared to other girls already. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. He had been doing those types of comments and you were struggling not to walk away already and the date wasn't even started. Yeah, this is a nice place, you said, looking at the menu while the man started looking at his phone, not seeming to care about chatting. Good evening. Welcome to the bar- The fuck. I, the Barate? The Barate. Barate. Fucking god- Barate. Okay. <laughs> I'm Sanji and I'll be your waiter tonight. His voice made you smile as you raised your head to his direction. He exchanged a smile and wanted to talk to you, but seeing the man in front of you, you felt rather weird, and he didn't want to intrude your date, so he only winked, giving you a chuckle. Can I get you something to drink? Maybe a glass of champagne or a bottle? No bottles, just a get her a strawberry cocktail, no alcohol, please. What if I want alcohol? Alcohol's fun. Yeah. I need well, to get drunk for this shit date. <laughs> Oh, probably. Yeah. I need, I need to be plastered if I'm going to get through this. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I should do a, do a drunk Wattpad book club reading. I just get... <laughs> I drink two beers and I'm out of it. <laughs> 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 he said, making you raise an eyebrow a little offended. You did want champagne or alcohol of any type, so you're going to be stuck with that date. And uh, for me, a, a blue shoe... Sanji looked at you for approval, not wanting the asshole to decide for you, but you s but you sighed, nodding. I'll be back f in a second with your drinks, he said, a little worried, as he was leaving you behind with that guy. So, what are you- what do you want to eat? You asked him. I really want to try the roast chicken. It looks good already. No chicken, eat a salad or something, the man said, annoyed that- uh, you eat more. <laughs> He's not really nice. <laughs> I kind of want to punch this guy. <laughs> I'm th I'm this man's biggest hater right now. <laughs> we should what? celebrate our parody fanfiction and just him being be <laughs> getting this shit beat out of him. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be so fun. <laughs> the man said annoyed at you even more. You smiled, trying to calm yourself down. You get fat, and besides, he leaned over to you, and made and it made you feel uncomfortable. We had to be light of what's going on, what's gonna happen tonight, he said, with a sexy tone, which I did not give him. Which only <laughs> means you want to puke. Believe me, Ew. you'll be calling me up every night after tonight. Sure. Anyway... <laughs> He said, wanting to jump out the window high under the sea forever, knowing that guy existed. Sure. He smirked at you, returning to his phone, just in time for Sandy to arrive with the drinks. Here you have, he said, with a little more worried seeing you all tensed up. You gave him a reassuring smile, not wanting, well, wanting to die at the same time. Are you ready to order? He asked, which... To which the man again decided for you a salad and for him a nice steak, which you, which was breaking you already. Is that all? Sanji asked, looking at you in case you wanted more. I I'm fine, thank you. You screamed internally. You could have just asked Sanji to help, but he gave you a kind smile and walked back to the kitchen, which made you want to stab yourself for losing the opportunity. Uh, do you like stars? The man asked you, which caught you by surprise, and you smiled and nodded, wanting to have a normal conversation with him. Well, you might be end up seeing them later, he winked at you, as his feet reached for your leg, which made you automatically stand up. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. I, I have to use the restroom, you said, trying to not appear as if you were panicking. Uh, I, I need this, you said, as you take your purse and walk away to the restroom, but not before getting intercepted by none other than Sanji, who had been looking out for you. He saw the opportunity, took your hand, and dragged you to the kitchen what, without the man noticing it, which made you almost want to cry. Help me. <laughs> this man is a lunatic. <laughs> you begged us. Honestly, as, yeah. <laughs> you begged as soon as you could, patting, patting your head. I knew there was something wrong. Don't worry, he said, giving you a tender smile, which made your heart melt. I got you covered up. Use that eggs and go home. 
I'll go check up on you tomorrow, okay? Sanji wanted to take you home and make sure that you were tucked in bed safely, but Zeph had was already near the exit to make sure Sanji wouldn't escape to have more smoke breaks than he needed. So you already, so he already couldn't go with you. Thank you, he said. Embr- we're embracing. We're giving a hug. Let's go. Woo, hug! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <You've been> so- <laughs> Almost the first base! <laughs> shut that up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> you said embracing him. He was only... He was the only comfort you had from the awful time you were having. And although you wanted him to be with you that night, you fully understood he had to stay. I guess for even. You joked, making him chuckle. You let go of him before you could really embrace you back and skip to the exit door, waving. Thank you, Sanji, you said, exiting the place. Sanji, stop bringing girls to the kitchen, Ziff said after seeing you leave through the exit. She's a... she's a friend. He felt like he had to say, he had said that hurt himself, but it wasn't time to figure that out. Guys, we have a sour apple at table eight, Sanji stated, which made all cooks and waiters grin because it meant that they were going to make that, that guy's nice, that guy's nice miserable for having you not only angry, but uncomfortable. Let's go. (laughs) I want to know what they do to him. (laughs) Like they pants him. (laughs) They like. They grab him and they throw him out into the dumpster. Into the uh, compost. Yeah. Oh, not the compost. I know they compost. Yeah. They, yeah, they definitely do compost. <laughs> so, what'd you think? <laughs> I'm entertained. Yeah. I hope I was entertaining. I was. <laughs> <laughs> you were entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> we, we just don't. I was surprised at the amount of, uh, of how sidetracked we got. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, it's fine, bro. That means that we're being... I don't know. That's some good-ass commentary. I think. I don't know. I'm trying my best out here. (laughs) Real. Yeah. Anyway. Are you excited, Jolene? Are you hoping for (laughs) Waluigiism? (laughs) If we finish Waluigiism... Oh, shoot, you got it pulled up already? Not yet. I was just asking your oh, okay. opinion before I pull oh, everything. No. <laughs> Waluigi is. I really like our. I really like our Mario pick. Not gonna lie. But the ba- the Bowiegi. The Bowiegi. Of course Bowiegi, you do. Waluigi is, um, those two are really good. All right. I really enjoyed reading those. I, honestly, that last the Bowiegi chapter, I was like, I gotta know. I want to see Bowser in an was- orange jumpsuit picking up trash. <laughs> I'm gonna be nervous. Yeah. Oh, I was really tempted to read ahead without you, but I'm just like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Of course, of course. Alright, let's pull this shit up. Alright, we got a lot of good options. Ooh. This did okay. update. The sword and shield thing, that did update. Yeah, it did have an update. Yeah, and there's also my choice and your Can choice. Can I tell you what I'm not hoping for? My choice? <laughs> no, it's actually, I don't want to read the, like, I like that fic. But I just don't want to read it aloud. The Angel Dust and Husker. Oh, I don't blame you. Yeah. You want me to remove it? <laughs> you, do you want to? Well, I mean, if you're uncomfortable you, reading it out loud, I can just backspace. I didn't see nothing. Oh, damn. What you looking at? Wow, what happened? Oh, Whoa, okay. Hey. All right. We... <laughs> All right. And our wheel gets even smaller. <laughs> We'll fucking fix it in post. It's fine. All right, do you t- just tell me one? <laughs> go, 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 go! Click it, click it. I'm go- fucking clicking it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if we get to see Bowser do community service. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god! Wow. I I love life. Life is good. <laughs> I was secretly hoping for this. Was, for Bowie G? I, yeah, I was also secretly hoping for the the Law X Reader too, because we haven't read that in a little bit. Honestly, honestly, yeah. Yeah, I, lo- I um, you gotta love the 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 doctor. <laughs> you know which one I'm kind of scared for? <laughs> what salt to a gang leader? Dude, it's 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 
awful but good at the same time. Wait, it's, well, what do you mean awful? I don't want it if it's awful. Well, like, it's, well, I read it early in Wattpad days and whatnot. Like, here's what I remember the most is the beginning bit of uh, this oh, rich God. this rich woman going to visit her parents and like her mom's only home, she like she has to talk with her little mom. And right now, her dad walks in. He's distressed, and, and he's like, and she's like, "Dad, Dad, 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 what's going on?" And he's like, "Well, I hate to break it to you, but uh, you're not the property of this mafia gang leader." And then it cuts him getting beat up. And then apparently, there's a photo of her nearby. He's like, "Is this your daughter?" <laughs> Uh, I'll forgive you debts. <laughs> if you die, I swear to God, this is how I remember the fan fiction. And it's it's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Interesting. That, that, that's all I remember from the beginning. But and she's like, "Why you so me to a gang leader?" He's like, "I had it. I had to forgive my debts. I was in debt to the mafia." And then, and then it cuts to her getting shipped off to his fucking five-story mansion. <laughs> oh my god. I wish I was kidding. I wish I was. But this is written in, like, 2008. I don't, or, like, 2009. Eight. I don't know. It was, hold, hold on. Two, it, it was during my early days of Wattpad. So probably when we were both in middle school, it was created. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. This is this is a, a phoenix bit that is real. <laughs> Just like my love for Vox, it's real. <laughs> I, I have no words. I don't think you oh, should shoot. have words. <laughs> It'd be a fun I gotta, read. <laughs> I gotta I gotta find the link to that because I just need to I just need to see what it was published. <laughs> Me, honestly, I kind of want to too. Uh, I think up, I sent it up. to you. Yeah, no, you wait. did. You did. Okay, it was also in the I fan fiction in in the fan fiction uh, tab because I was like, guys, this is my first ever fan fiction that I read, and everyone was like, oh my god, what the? <laughs> You've sent me so many links that I'm searching. Oh, I found it. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Text to speed. Wait, you can text to speech? That's awesome. It says text to speech, yeah. I'm trying to find it right now on my phone. 20, it's 2015. Oh, 2015, okay. <laughs> I, I, I was just guessing. We were yeah. 13. Yeah. Wild. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, we need to get our act together. <laughs> what do you mean? I think I need to get my act together. Maybe I do need that intervention. Intermission? Intervention. The intervention, thank you. So what, what, do I gotta <laughs> schedule intervention on Discord now? Yeah, you're like, uh, at Luke Sage. Uh, it's like gonna be muted. like in the event thing. Yeah, <laughs> in the event, my own one. <laughs> Uh, you know, my own intervention. I gotta schedule. I'll be like, oh, my my own intervention is coming up, guys. I, I gotta. Sorry, I gotta go meet up for that, and I gotta act surprised. <laughs> oh, just do a surprise. It's like the only one that's a surprise for me, and I just have everyone in a separate group chat. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible though. I'll I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> next time you, you know what? Tag me next time you see them out of pocket. I'll schedule it then. <laughs> Luke says he has some comfortable moments and he won't tell me until I go live again, which makes me kind of want to go live right after I get done with this and stream <laughs> and just what be. You... Hmm? What are you streaming? I don't what, know. What will you stream? Just chatting or something? I, I was thinking of doing the, the Stan. The, the, the Stanford Pines dating sim and doing more of it. Oh, gotcha. Uh, then I was like, oh wait, today's Tuesday, I record with Jolene, I, I guess I'll just do that tomorrow. <laughs> ah. Oh man, it's some, something about him, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? You get where I'm coming sure. from, right? <laughs> sure. Wait, of, of who? Oh, of, yeah, I gotcha. 
My brain thought Super you were still fern. talking about Vok. Oh, of course you did. I, I'm not, I don't have a one-track mind, Jolene. I have, I have a conscious. Are you sure about that? Wow. I can't believe you. This is bullshit. Yes, you can. <laughs> this is an outrage. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, Jolene, thank you for joining me on this. I, I highly appreciate it, man. Can't wait to read... Uh, yeah, I can't wait to read about an Italian who's in love with a turtle. This is gonna be really fun. A dinosaur turtle. <laughs> dinosaur turtle. How can I forget? My, my mistake. <laughs> exactly. Correct yourself. Check your privilege. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm my privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Unscrewed Sores, a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings that I had done with other people. And then there's also the last book club reading that was done uh, last uploaded at some point. So check out that shit too. Uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.